Now in the market, there exists a high demand for better electronic equipment, with applications ranging from space missions to nuclear experiments. The reason is that, during these experiments, data is lost due to high levels of radiation that damage the equipment. This leads to the replacement of very expensive data acquisition devices that may cost millions of dollars. A good candidate for these applications is the implementation of LEDs as sensing devices. Light emitting diode technologies have been evolving for half a century by research and development of thousands of scientists in national labs and universities. As a high-tech alternative, LED's potential is saving energy and money compared to other existing electronics. High-quality instruments and their calibration are essential for an understanding of these applications. Therefore, there is a necessity to develop a new generation of LEDs using different materials. Gallium nitride is becoming a popular testing material for nuclear research. It is a very durable, mechanically stable, high voltage semiconductor material, which makes it the perfect candidate to resist radiation environment. The solution proposed is the Automated Optoelectronic Testing Platform, or AOTP. The AOTP is a high precision automated mechanical system that measures the characteristics of up to 9 LEDs under 11 hours by passing through 5 different tests. The platform allows scientists to gather data from experiments in a more precise and efficient way. The platform is a follow-up of a previous project developed by a group of UNLV students. The system conducts 5 different tests to characterize the diodes. The first two tests are the current voltage curves in forward and reverse bias. The curves help us identify what the electrical operating conditions of the diodes are. The system is programmed to protect the diodes from reaching breakdown voltage when testing them in reverse bias. This prevents damaging the diode and use it for future implementation. The next experiment records the special beam configuration of the diode. The data is recorded using a beam profiler camera. This test is important since exposure of the LEDs to radiation environments can have effects on their overall spatial beam distribution. All the tests are designed to find the high speed response of the LED. To do that, it was developed an algorithm that maps the entire diode using a retracing search pattern at a precision of 10 micrometers. This alignment process is performed automatically. The power intensity test measures the maximum power of the output light of the LED at different current rates. This can determine if the diode can be used for electro-optical applications. Lastly, we have the emission spectrum test. This determines the wavelength of the light output by the diode. The test is important when taking sensing capabilities of the light sources that can be detected by the LED. Finally, all devices and sensors are controlled using LabVIEW software. LabVIEW is a development environment for a visual programming language that requires test, measurement, and control. The program is used to create a customized interface to operate the entire process at every single step. The front panel is a primary user's way to interface with each of the testing automation processes. This is also where the user dials patterns, select tests to be performed, and record data. In general, the operator of the AOTP would be able to customize the sensors to carry tests on different semiconductor samples that may be affected by different radiological environments. The user would be able to test the samples in real time since it would not require remover the samples from the testing area. Therefore, the AOTP will eliminate human error, reduce costs, and increase productivity.